Lately Chosen, keeping them woke and doing a little bit exposing and shining light. So subscribe and like to the channel if you haven't already. Doing this video today because, you know, I've spoke about generational curses in the past. And I've did more reading and I did more research when it comes to generational curses. And I'm doing this video because I've been watching some people and, you know what I'm saying, they have stumbled across this topic. So by me speaking about it in the past and it... You know what I'm saying? It's still being prevalent to what I watch or what, what I see or, you know what I'm saying, who I'm viewing. Um, I would like to talk about it. So what I would like to say is um, I learned what generational curses are, but I'm not, that's not my topic. Uh, I'm My focus on my topic or in my topic. So basically what I was going to say is I read in the Bible, it says like um, generations, to come would be cursed because of things that our ancestors did. And, um, you know what I'm saying? A lot of people have spoken. They said, well, why would we be punishing and things like that? And then people have also said uh, that was the Old Testament and different things like that. But from what I have saw, people do still carry generational curses. I'm not going to go into that either, but I've seen, you know what I'm saying, I have did a qualitative study, you know what I'm saying, within my own life. My, my own family member's life, other people. I've been around people long enough, you know what I'm saying, to know, you know what I'm saying, what's, what's good. I've seen uh, and generations of people. I've known people's grandmothers to their mothers to their children, you know what I'm saying, things like that. So you're able to, over time, if you're in a certain area, be able to see what patterns fall where. But, see, uh, it's not just something just laid upon you. It's also, um, it's also basically like, basically a, a chain reaction, a cause and effect. So if you got so your grandfather is is living a certain way, when his children come out, you know what I'm saying. If he doesn't correct those bad ways or those ways of living before his children come out, they're going to see that. If they don't see that and mimic that. They're going to end up sometimes, most of the times, contributing to being the same way. So that's what I really want to speak about, learned behavior. Learned behavior also ties into generational curses because people see and mimic, you know what I'm saying, things, and then they go off of that until it finally clicks in them. I have to change. Because of my circumstances and what's been around me, I have to change. And, um... Uh, you know what I'm saying? We are destroyed through lack of knowledge. So if you never gain that knowledge, you will you you will always have that lack. You will always have that not knowing of. So how I'm getting on the uh, the learned behavior thing is because well, I work with children. And um, I seen the other day this little girl, she crawled on top of uh, a, like um, just a, 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 sit, a stool. She sat on top of a stool. It was pretty low. A bench is better what it's called because that's what it was. She sat on a bench, but I don't like her sitting up there. A lot of te a lot of people allow her to sit up there, but I don't allow her to sit up there because I just have insight. I could just see things that could possibly happen, even if it's not going to happen. It's a possibility, so I try to uh, lower the possibilities and likelihoods of things happening. So um, I asked her to get down, and when I asked her to get down, I just grabbed her. You know what I'm saying? I picked her up and I swung her around, gave her some love and all that. So by other children seeing me pick her up and giving her this response, guess what they did? Two of them tried to go on that same um, on that same bench that I asked her to get off of. But because of the response that I gave her, made them want to do something that they weren't supposed to do to get a positive desired response. And that is a learned behavior. See, if I would have just, like, picked them all up and done that, it wouldn't have taught them anything. It would have taught them to do what you're not supposed to do to get a positive result. So that also taught me something because I saw it directly. And we have to train children up the way that they shall go, and they'll never depart from it. So, you know what I'm saying? These children are one years old. And, you know, by them being one years old, that's when people start developing these characteristics. I've seen manipulation. I've, you know what I'm saying? I've seen, um, I've seen basically 
a child say they don't want their shoes on. As soon as, you know what I'm saying, you say, okay, you don't want to put your shoes on. You, you put them up. I want my shoes. You put them on. I don't want my shoes. So that is not a learned behavior, but that is a, a, a chain that should be broken. Now, if that chain is not broken, it is a strong possibility if that child has a child one day, you know what I'm saying, by by her, you know what I'm saying, carrying out those attributes that it won't be a positive thing in, in her life or anybody else's life. And, yes, people can change, but we have to break we have to break things. We have to break behaviors. We have to break them early. We have to break curses. We have to break all that. All of that comes from praying. All that comes from being strong. All that comes from doing right. All that comes from sparing the rod. All that comes from chastising. When you know better, you do better. So I think I pretty much got my, my point across when it comes to the learned behaviors, generational curses. Now, I tie that in together because... Learn behavior is something that a child sees and they go off of. But, you know what I'm saying? If we in generations and things keep happening, a lot of the times it's because we've seen it. We're not doing nothing about it. So, same aspect, same concept of what I'm saying. I'll talk to y'all later. Stay prayed up. You know what I'm saying? Um, well, if you're around children, even adults, you know what I'm saying? Adults still uh, develop learned behaviors. So stay away from the learned behaviors, stay away from them generational curses, and do what's right, y'all. Talk to you later.